Good morning, Facebook Live and Jocelyn fans. I am Rebecca, the program director here at the Jocelyn Center, and this is episode 102? 102. 102 of the Jocelyn Variety Show. So today is Take 20 with Veronica. So she's going to do our full episode, about 20 minutes um, of a workout, usually very gentle and user-friendly and easy to do at home. Um, all you'll need is a chair and some sneakers and maybe some weights or a band, depends on the day, but uh, you can use them without it. Um, so that's what we're doing today and tomorrow, make sure that you come for our variety show tomorrow because I'm going to teach y'all how to use Ancestry.com to build your family tree and to track some of your lineage. So that's always a fun pandemic project. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. So make sure you join us at 11 o'clock on the variety show and don't forget all of our variety show episodes including um, bonus workouts are available on our YouTube channel so if you go to youtube.com and search for Jocelyn Center you'll see our J logo pop up and that is our channel you'll see several playlists we've got all of our, our variety shows we have uh, go for life videos calisthenics videos chair yoga videos all kinds of things to keep you busy for the weekend but let's go ahead and kick off our Thursday with a workout um, and then we will see you back tomorrow for uh, a little more computer work well, that sounds great Rebecca thank you okay well we are going to be uh, focusing on our lower body today so let's uh, let's engage our upper body mostly for our warm-up okay so I'm jogging standing up and I am uh, encouraging you if you're sitting down if you want to sit down the whole workout you just keep moving so you've got your knees coming up and when we step side to side you can tap your feet side to side now so make sure that you are not holding your breath so I make sure that you continue breathing and try to keep your mind on the activity that we're doing right at the moment that we're doing it okay we're gonna step side to side now again with your arms let's just uh, bring up a straight arm either side so be mindful that your shoulders are not raising your shoulders stay down so bring the arms up good so as we increase our movement your breath your breathing is going to increase of course and now we, if we lift our arms over our head even though we're not moving very fast just raising your arms over your heart uh, will increase your heart rate as well so just be mindful of that you can adjust according to how you feel and as you're doing these movements if you find that oh wow, I didn't realize my shoulders a little stiff my um, maybe my upper back feels a little funny then just modify like I would just keep my arms out at the sides if I felt like my shoulder was stiff I don't want to overuse that joint too much just be gentle with yourself okay so let's do our standing still now we're going to tap our heel forward and tap so you're going to bend your knees come down and tap bend your knees come down and tap so you don't bend your knee too far your leg that's staying put as opposed to tapping is the one that's bending just bend on enough so you can reach your leg forward. I have my hands on my hips, but if you want to you know, use your arms, go ahead and use them. Especially if you've been sitting a lot. This morning I've been sitting a lot, so I feel really motivated to move around, get the blood flowing, and then uh, enjoy, enjoy that feeling. And then going back to sit down again is uh, going to be comfortable starting over again. Okay. All right. So I'm going to bring the chair back here. And we haven't done these for a while. We're going to do some squats. And remember your, your glute muscles. There's a lot of muscles that we uh, refer to as the glutes. They help support your lower back. They help support your, your, your hips, your joints. You know, they rotate your leg in that, your socket here. They lift your leg behind you. So uh, it's really important to, to work on these muscles to help maintain some tone 
because of all the structural support that they provide. Okay, so let's sit. If you're going to be uh, remaining seated, really focus on your, your, your glutes. Just focus on every area that you're sitting on right now. So if you're gonna remain seated, you are gonna squeeze your glutes and release. So you can keep squeezing and releasing. You can work the muscle even though you're sitting on it. Squeeze. And remember, as you're squeezing your glutes, there's so many muscles back there. You're also going to be squeezing your inner thighs, your quads, your legs, basically your upper legs. It's just part of that. As you start to squeeze your glutes, you're going to automatically squeeze these muscles too. Okay, so continue that and really try and get a nice deep squeeze. So I'm going to do a few more and then we'll stand up and start doing some squats. Squeeze. And you really have to think about it. It's the only way you get a deep squeeze if you really focus on that. Okay, I'm really squeezing. If you're playing music and you have a, um, a rhythm, you can work towards the rhythm. Just make sure that you squeeze long enough to get a, a, a good deep squeeze in there. Okay, so feet flat on the floor. Your legs are about at a right angle. Uh, if you need some assistance standing up on your chair and you have arms, then go ahead and use your arms, but then use your strength to stand up the rest of the way. Okay, so we're going to inhale and then exhale, stand up. When you stand up, you're squeezing your glutes. So let's sit down all the way. Try not to release your squeeze. Exhale up and squeeze. We'll keep going down all the way to the chair. Exhale, squeeze. And then we'll do some where we're hovering just above the chair seat. Exhale up. Now your back should be fine. Really uh, be aware of all these muscles that you are using to stand up. You're probably stronger than you think, than you realize. So make sure you realize when you are inhaling down, exhaling up, got a lot of power there. Okay, inhale down, but don't go all the way down to the chair seat. Now, let's check our form. So keep breathing. We're just gonna be, be at the height that you're comfortable with. I'm not going down that low. If you want to go down lower, that's fine. If you want to just ease in just at the top, that's where I'm going to start. Let's check our form. So keep breathing. Make sure your knees are behind your toes. Okay, your knees are going to come close to, to your toes. But you always want to make sure that the work, the weight is behind, behind your knees. Okay, and stand up, squeeze, and reach back, inhale down. And stand up, squeeze. So let's keep going. Repetition. Repetition. You want to get the right form and embrace repetition. <laughs> Inhale down. Exhale up. So we're still warming up. You know, unless you've been working out just prior to our start time today. You know, we're really just warming up. You know, we could do this for 10 minutes and then we'll be actually really nicely warmed up. So, my reason for saying that is just ease into it, listen to your body. Let's keep going. And what you do with your hands is up to you. As I've mentioned before, I autom my hands automatically come in front, it's like a counterbalance. And the reason for that is because, again, you're reaching back. So it would not be difficult to tip back. So if you bring your arms out, it kind of helps to counterbalance you. So I hope you're going at your own pace. I'm taking my time. I'm holding that. I'm feeling a little bit of uh, fatigue. And then exhale up. You can hold it down longer if you want but you can go a little bit faster too. And try to get that. So the breathing is, you just do your best with it. Sometimes it, you know, it doesn't always sink perfectly, but when you're exerting yourself, remember, 
that's where your exhale is. I'm going to slow down. And I'm going to hold it a little bit longer. Check my form. I, see, I can see my toes. Uh, my weight is in my heels, coming up into the back of the arch. There's no weight on my toes right now. And push up. I'm going to try to go a little bit lower. Hold it. Breathing. Let's try to do enough repetition in our muscles today so that tomorrow or the next day, you've got a little bit of that soreness in it. The soreness feels good. Your muscles are telling you that you, you've got them nice and fatigued. Come down and let's hold it. Again, at your own pace. So when you stand up, remember to do that squeeze. Sometimes it's, it's easy to, to not get a good squeeze in standing up. So stand up, squeeze, inhale. Since I'm holding it, I'm continuing my breathing process. Okay, checking the form. Still above the chair. Try to keep your upper body as upright as you can. Come up when you're ready. Squeeze. All right, let's do three more of these and then we'll do some standing exercises. Still focused on our glutes. Keep breathing. You take your time and you can feel all the muscles that are engaged. So there's a lot of effort that you're putting forth right now. Good. Okay, relax those muscles. All right, let's do a chair or get a countertop or something, just in case you need it. Uh, it's nice to know it's here. So we're gonna stand up nice and tall. We're gonna do one straight leg back, repetition, and then the other straight leg back. So when you put your leg behind you, you're thinking of your heel. Okay, so you got a straight leg. I'm pointing the heel behind me. And then squeeze and down. Squeeze and down. Try not to, um, to touch the floor with your foot. Try not to, and try to, just keep the squeeze until we go to the other leg. Squeeze and down. Squeeze. So the leg doesn't have to come up very high, but when you bring it up to the to as top as high as you're going to lift it, make sure you squeeze, hold that squeeze, and then bring the leg down, but keep the squeeze in there. This is all in the name of fatiguing the muscles that we're working. Okay, let's do two more. There we go. Just switch right to the other leg. And now this other leg has already pre pre fatigued a little bit because we were standing on that leg. Squeeze. Squeeze. Again, it's nice if you have music playing, you could play one song. Like if you're working one side of the body through a series of different movements, that could be one song. And you can do the other side of your body with another song. Again, two to three minutes, that's a good amount of time. One more squeeze. Good, okay. So let's move down underneath your glutes, your hamstrings. So let's do this. We're going to do, to put your leg behind you. Now with your heel, you're going to kick up with your heel and down. And even if your toe touches the floor, keep the squeeze in your hamstring. 
squeeze. Just think how everything's all connected. So your hamstrings down below your glutes. Get a nice strong hamstring, you have nice strong glutes. A well-supported back, well-supported hips. Squeeze. And by squeezing your hamstrings, that's bringing that, that kick action up. And switch right to the other leg and back, back. Keep the squeeze in until we go back to the, the first leg. Twenty minutes. Go, Twenty minutes goes by very quickly, in my opinion. So really try to feel each squeeze. Good. Okay. Let's turn to face the front, and we'll do some plie squats. So plie squats. You're going to point your toes out at about 45 degrees angle. Feet are wider than your hips. And we're going to go down. Inhale down. Now stop and see how you feel. You might need to widen your stance a little bit. You know, it depends on how tall you are. Um, just make sure that you're, we're not doing that. You don't want to be too wide either, right? So find what feels like, okay. My, my knees are basically behind my, my toes again. So we're gonna lower down and we're warmed up. So let's hold it here. Feel all these muscles working. And now you come up and squeeze. Okay, I feel like I need to put my feet a little bit closer together. So adjust as you need to. So when you're squeezing, that's when you find, well, maybe I'll move my feet out or in. Down and squeeze, down. Squeeze. If you have some weights nearby, you can hold some weights as you uh, are doing this, this move. Just gives you a little bit more resistance as you're, as you're coming up. And squeeze. Again, these are great um, exercises to do while you are Maybe you're watching something on TV or on the computer, um, you know, watching something or waiting or just looking outside. We can do this. Put some music on and that is so motivating. And squeeze. And so they say, if you don't feel like exercising, just do the warm up your odds are really good that if you start doing the warm-up you're going to want to continue. They so do a few of these before you know it you've you've put in 25. Squeeze that's one more and hold it down. Hold it down. Body's upright. Okay and now when you come up I'm going to squeeze and really squeeze behind you. Okay, let's stretch this area. St uh, seated or standing, you're going to bring up one foot over the opposite knee, and you're gonna sit back. Okay, so you can see the same, same posture if you're seated. You're gonna sit in. I have my hand here. Uh, it's, very, it's pushing down a little bit, but that's, that's secondary. I'm mostly just putting my hand there for balance. As you sit back, you're going to feel the stretch go all the way up the side of your thigh, deep into your glute. So relax. If you're seated, you could probably uh, stand to push your, your leg down just a little bit. Just gently push that knee down. Okay. Other side. And then sit back. Real good stretch right up your leg into your glute. And keep breathing. 
That's good. Okay, now bring one straight leg forward. Sit back. I'm gonna stretch all the way down that leg. So lean forward, keep your back pretty well straight. Feel that stretch behind, all down your straight leg. Okay, and let's switch to the other leg. Straight leg out, sit back. Good hamstring stretch. Good, okay. I like to stretch the opposite muscle too. So before we finish, let's stretch the front of the leg. Quadriceps and point your knee to the floor. Gently bring your hip bone forward just a little bit and just hold that stretch, relax into it. Okay, and then your other leg, just hold that. Bringing your hip forward just slightly, just very gently to get the hip flexors stretched as well. Okay, always be gentle with your stretching. You never want to see how far you can push it, not when you're talking about your body. You know, like not, not when you're talking about stretching. Just relax into it. Okay, and when you, uh, your body says you're done, you're done. <laughs> Okay, thanks for joining today. I hope you feel good and have a little bit of good soreness tomorrow. Thank you, Veronica. All right, guys, that's our Thursday, but come back tomorrow because we are going to do some work on Ancestry.com. Um, and in the meantime, don't forget all of Veronica's workouts and more are on our YouTube channel, so go ahead and check that out. Have a great Thursday. See you tomorrow.